Hey Kim fam, welcome back and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning into our video. If you're returning subby, thank you so much for coming back. These are the products that we will be using today. We are going to hit you with our toddler boy hairstyle video number 49. Now before I get into it, I just want to disclaimer. I'm so sorry about the ugliness that is my right hand. I got second degree burns um, while on vacation, while cooking, um, some oil splashed up on my hand and that's what I'm working with for now. So I sincerely apologize. It is so ugly. <laughs> I think for the next video, I'll be putting on some band-aids, but yes. Yeah, so we are getting into this video. We're getting to the style. It is a protective style, but like a protective style that you can still wear out. Um, and it's also inspired by Drake. So I'm going to show you guys how I do just some straight back, super simple um, straight back braids. I'm doing five. So this is my little technique. I actually start by um, parting the hair from ear to ear. And then I'm going to go in and just work with the front section to get the part sizing correct. And then I'm going to work with the back and make it all into one braid. It's just always been a little bit easier for me that way. That way I'm able to ensure that everything is proportioned well and the braids aren't like on a slant or anything like that. Um, and it's just, it gives me a little more peace of mind. So I'm going with five. I would usually do six, but for some reason, the picture that I saw of Drake, um, I feel like he had five, but going back, I think he actually had six, but Either way, this would work the same for if you have five or if you have six braids. All right, so once we get the two on the side sectioned, I'm actually even gonna go back after and make them a little bit bigger, but you're gonna start with the middle. Um, I don't wanna give him a middle part, you know, just try and avoid that middle part as much as we can so their hair isn't like permanently parted that way. Um, so I'm going in, I'm seeing where the middle would be, and then I'm just making it um, equal on each side as I make that part. So that's my middle. I decided that, you know, this is around the size that I like, and now I'm going in to make the um part themselves make them straighter now i would usually be using my shine and jam with this part of the hairstyle but i was on the itty bitty little squinch that was left so i i really just wanted to leave it for when i was actually braiding like the front part like I'll get into it after but yeah so I would usually be putting the shine and jam on the part and then going through with the comb and um, making the part extra neat so what you want to do also is keep the hair tight like hold both sides and that's going to show you what the part will look like once you're braided it and if you see that the line doesn't look straight just go back and take away the pieces that need to be taken away until the line is um, straight to your liking so like I said, I'm now going to go back in. Oh, look how excited he is. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to just um, make the size of the um, side braids the size that I would like. I just want them a little more proportion to each other and to the other braids. Once I've done that, I'm now going into the back and I'm just going to take the back section and I'm going to continue the part from the front and just bring it down. The back section isn't going to be as large of a part as the front section you're actually going to um lesser lessen in size you're gonna go down in size all right so we've got our extra virgin olive oil just adding that to the perimeter before i put any uh product on there it just helps me feel safer also if you're um adding any other product you just put it as a base base coat <laughs> so i'm using the tgin thank god it's natural buttercream daily moisturizer this has shea butter and vitamin e if you are not checking out our community post please go there you'll actually see when i posted that i got a new product i will start off by saying that this is very thick like extremely thick i think you guys can see here it's, it looks like toothpaste or something i will give you guys more of um my comments in a moment but i just want to go through the rest of the product with you got products with you guys as you can see here i'm using water 
uh, it's necessary. I didn't even want to do this as a wet style, but with that, needed it. So after I do that, I'm going to go in with the Shine and Jam. I'm using the yellow as usual. This is my absolute favorite. It's not too much hold. Um, it doesn't leave any resi residue. It's just perfect for um, kids' hair. Um, so as you can see, I'm going in very lightly. That's because I don't have a lot left. But I would, especially for this style with the size of the braids, I would use more product um, just to ensure that the hair is laying flat and that it's going to last longer when we're braiding. I go in with the root, I get the first with the tail comb, and now I'm using the brush. All products will be listed in the description below as usual. All right, so here I'm going to get into braiding. You guys can just have a little look at what I do, but I want to talk to you guys again about the um, TGIN product. As I said, it is thick, like thicker than a snicker, okay? Um, <laughs> it's... I, I thought it would kind of be a consistency like the Meow Organics um, Moisture RX Ginger something of another. I'll insert a picture. Hopefully I remember. That honestly has been the best moisturizer or buttercream that I've ever used for his hair. Um, I just kind of wanted to see what else was out there. We don't usually get like the TJN products, but um, as of late, Walmart has been stocking up on or bringing us more things, uh, more variety in Canada. So I was like, oh, this is the perfect opportunity to try this. Mm -mm. I'm gonna stay away. I did have um, a viewer leave a comment as I was saying in the community section underneath this picture saying she also found that it was um, really really thick and what she did is she watered hers down when she was using it. So I actually tried that technique when I used it for a second time and I don't know if it's just his hair type or what but this is not the product for us. Um, even watered down it's still so thick to apply it leaves the hair just really like sticky not even sticky but well sticky like you can feel the product transfer between the hair and your hands um it was just like you can even see here it's just so hard to like work with um if you would get anywhere to work with this it would probably be after like dousing the hair in a lot of water which i don't even really like to braid on wet hair that much so that kind of wouldn't really work for me um so unfortunately for us this tgin product is not going to be uh another uh, not going to be one that we buy again i'm probably going to send this for my cousin because she she loves to try these products, but for us, this was a no-go. It did the job for right now, but it was honestly more hassle um, than it's really worth. So I am combing through, even without this product in, I still do comb through periodically as I braid just because his hair is curly and it's thick. Um, it You just want to make sure that the hair you're working with is combed through so it gives you the best looking style and the best longevity out of the style. I think I've probably said this before, but it just keeps ringing true to me that as his hair goes through his changes, like his hair isn't the same as it was like a year ago when we were making videos. I mean, he is now four, so obviously their hair is going to change over time. The hair texture and the curliness that they're born with isn't necessarily going to last. Some people call it like a placenta perm, like, you know, when the hair is like really, really straight when they're born. Um, we've gone through a change so I think that's what is contributing to the fact that we're just kind of trying new products to see what works really well um, I I didn't really have an issue with the the Shea Moisture um, moisturizing hair butter that we were using it's just to me for the price and the size of the container it just wasn't worth it because I'm going through so much because he has so much hair so my thing was I was just trying to find something that kind of replicates what that does in his hair but just a bigger size and it's gonna have to be that um, Hawaiian ginger product that one is the best one I will link it in the description just so you guys can um, get your hands on it if you're interested we have a couple videos where we're using it um, 
but you just have to kind of see what works best in your child's hair um what their hair responds to really well what it doesn't respond to and just you know go from there I'm so sad that I did not have enough shine and jam for this product, but we just got back from vacation. So I was just working with what's in the cupboard at this point. We went a week without washing his hair. I didn't style his hair. Uh, one, it was like just a lot that was going on. I was planning everything up here to do his birthday party down there um we went to saint lucia if you haven't seen the post or instagram go check that out um so i was just planning and then it was just a lot of work but i was just like you know what like he's gonna go in the water a lot it's gonna be hot so like i might as well just leave his hair out and just work with it like that so that worked out no problem but it did end up being a week of nothing in there um except for like water i did buy a product down there actually um I'll put a picture of it in the community post make sure you check those out um and it worked it worked for what we needed it for so that was fine but like i said i'm just trying to find one brand and stick to it but more importantly you guys gotta remember to kind of like work in portions work in sections it's a little <laughs> more work for me right now because i still have my acrylics on from vacation i do my nails like twice a year um and i hate braiding with acrylics but um as you go you know like whistle while you work it's essentially that except comb or brush while you work it's going to make your life so much easier if your child has hair like cam the same like you know thickness and fullness of it you're going to have to detangle as you go unless you're working with like freshly washed hair then you're probably okay or if you have a good product in it um, that is cooperating, like the ginger um, ginger product, the Hawaiian ginger product works for us. So in this in this um, instance, you're gonna want to comb through. So I should have stopped already and been combing through because that is going to let all the knots and the kinks of the hair come out see I, I started <laughs> it's gonna let all the knots and the kinks of the hair come out and it's gonna allow for the hair to be braided uh, flat and smooth using the uh, shine and jam as well in conjunction with that is gonna help the, the style look even nicer but like I said I didn't have that much left so I would have uh, put the shine and jam on both sides of this uh, part and I would have combed or brushed it through so that all of it would have just been flat but comb or brush as you go take your time stop with it go through it uh, piece by piece because it's going to make the style look better and it's going to make it last longer and in all honesty that's what we want because why braid their hair if we're not doing it for it to last So I'm just tying his hair as I would if he had beads, which means I'm just wrapping the end up and then I'm I'm tying the elastic there. It just, for me, helps it look a little bit neater um, and keeps the ends a little bit safer. So I'm going through with the last braid. Let me be honest, I hate seeing my hand. So I was just kind of really nervous to like make this video longer than it needed to be. Um, and the fact that it's such an easy style that we kind of get the concept of, there wasn't much need for me to like keep recording. So this is going to be the last braid that I show. And then I'm going to show you some pictures of the finished product. Because once we were done, he was over it. He was ready to just go do his thing. And I didn't even hassle him to get any, any finishing videos of it. I was like, you know what? Let's get out of here. Um, so yeah, so I'm just braiding normally. You can do this like stitch braid if you'd like. Um, you can use like your nail if you have your nails long, you can use a comb, you can use whatever um, makes it easy for you. Uh, I was just kind of going with the flow at this point, I was just doing whatever. Um, braiding with nails is just not fun for me. <laughs> um, I don't braid tight when I braid with nails, no matter the length. It's just not my thing. Um, so I was just ensuring that I get the style done 
in some way, shape, or form. Um, cause this was honestly just to do something with his hair after washing it, just to have something in his hair for a couple days before we actually style his hair. Um, the weather's changing, a lot's going on. So it's just kind of like getting in the groove of what we want to, um, get done. We have about a week or so left before we start like programs and stuff. So depending on what he's doing he can't have his hair in certain ways if he has to wear a helmet or whatever so it's a lot of figuring out what works best um but this style worked for us today so this was our take on the drake braids i never thought we would be doing a, a braided hairstyle in reference to drake but here we are uh hope you guys enjoy it these are the final looks he was doing his little this little Drake pose. <laughs> um, we actually went out bike riding after this and it was perfect because he needed to wear a helmet anyways. Um, so we hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you like this style. Quick, easy, and to the point. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you have not already. Thumbs up this video if you like it. Hit us in the comment section below. We love talking to you guys. Check out our IG, share our video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.